G'day folks, it's a windy old day here in the back shed in Perth, Western Australia. Anyway, we're going to have a look at a couple of knives. A Gerber LMF Mark II Soldier and a USMC K-Bar. Anyway, as always, you don't want to be looking at my face. Let's have a look at the knives. Firstly, there's a fair bit of background noise due to a storm that's blown over the top of us at the moment. So I truly hope I don't have to go to a voiceover to make this video. Anyway, first up is the USMC K-Bar. Now, this was purchased in a military surplus store around 2006 and it hasn't done anything other than sit in a display cabinet or sit in a drawer since then. On the blade it says K-Bar Orleans NY, well, I suppose that's New York and USMC on this side and the blade goes all the way through which is usually a sign of a reasonably well made knife hopefully fingers crossed and you can see in the end where the blade actually is on the hilt and that's I suppose used like I used to use my knife when I was in the army for hitting things On the sheath, we've got K-Bar, USMC logo, and USMC embossed down here. Now this was, you could get two types many years ago, because I actually owned a K-Bar years ago. And you could get them with this kind of sheath, or just a plain sheath. Uh, the quality was the same in both the knives, and that would have been around 1976. Anyway, it's a reasonably good quality knife, but as I say, probably never been used for anything in its life so far. This is a Gerber LMF Mark II Soldier. It was purchased around 2009 and it went with the soldier that purchased it to Afghanistan and did a tour 2010 through 2011. It's a really sturdy piece of kit. Um, and as far as a useful knife is concerned, just as good as the one I used when I was in the army. However, the thing with survival knives and being a soldier is that you don't have a super lot of use for one of these things unless you have to survive. As long as you remain with your unit, you really don't need one. Um, we've got three holes and I guess that would be to tie it onto something to make a spear. A sharp bit piece here for smashing glass I suppose and uh, a bit of a serration there and this knife has definitely been used because it's blunt and personally I, I agree with that unless you're going to use a knife just keep it blunt. The sheath is a really sturdy piece of kit and just down here is a slot for sharpening it. Um, it's exactly how you would expect a knife that's been used to look and uh, I'm quite, I, well I, my personal opinion of this is it's a really good looking knife and a pretty sturdy piece of kit as well. Now what I will show you is also is part of the package when this knife was bought was this little gadget here. This has never been used. It certainly lived in a, in a drawer somewhere. And it's actually a tool made by Gerber. I would say for cutting seat belts because it's got a really couple of really sharp blades here and you'd hook on hook on and just pull it through and cut the cord or cut whatever you want to that would be a really interesting piece of kit as well but uh, as you can see never been used as new anyway I hope that uh, I've given you a decent look at these knives and as always, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.
on the top on the top we've got the blade goes all the way through that's there's a you can see the end of the blade 